Danny from Conscious Cano Cynic here. It's a lovely day here. Looking forward to training later. And yeah, definitely making some improvements with my body at the moment. Doing some extra cardio to strip my body fat down to get an even more ripped body. So the topic of today is, what is the most ideal diet to eat whilst on your one meal a day diet journey? Because there's a lot of people that wonder this out there. So yeah, I wanted to answer this clearly in this video. And what I've said is any diet works with eating one meal a day and it depends for you. What might be the most ideal diet for you that you thrive on may not be for me because we are all different. So yeah, as a lot of you will know, I actually promote a whole foods plant-based vegan diet. This is what I eat. And the reason why I switched this back in 2013 is I had loads of health issues mentally and physically, and it helped me go in the direction of eliminating them and curing them completely. And then I started promoting it to my family members and friends, and they started getting very, very similar results as well. So this is why I recommend it to the majority of people out there. And also I do care about animal cruelty and the environment because yeah things like meat and dairy and all these other animal and animal byproduct foods have a negative effect on the animals and also the environment as well but yeah now i'm going to go on something else because i don't want to go too much on about that but yeah if you don't want to eat a vegan diet that's completely fine there's some people that want to eat a ketogenic diet whether it's a raw vegan ketogenic diet a vegan one or a meat-based one or a vegetarian one there's all different types of ketogenic diets some people might want to eat a paleo diet or a bulletproof diet, all these other different types of diets out there. So what I say is try out different diets and see which one makes you feel the best. And if you embark on a journey of trying a new diet and you don't feel that great within about 30 days of doing it, then you may be doing something wrong with it or it just may not be working for you because it's not the most ideal diet for you. So listen to your own intuition, but also be very mindful and listen to your body and see if it's working for you or not. Just because someone else says it works, maybe it isn't going to for you. And what I say is for people to thrive on a whole foods plant-based vegan diet, they need to do it correctly. And this is the same with any diet out there. So don't always blame the diet for not working because there may be some things that you've missed to actually make it work for you successfully short term and long term and for you to feel the best mentally and physically holistically. And I do understand that not everyone wants to switch to a vegan diet at all. That's completely understandable. I didn't want to in the past and naturally I've drawn to do it. So yeah, if you're someone that is going to be eating animal foods such as meat and fish and dairy and cheese and all these other different things, make sure that you're getting grass fed or pasture raised foods on the ones that I've just mentioned, that the animals that are making these for you are fed on non-GMO food and not grains as well. Make sure they're not vaccinated, make sure there's no hormones used with them. And if you're consuming things such as milk or cheese or other animal byproduct foods, make sure they are in their raw, unpasteurized state. I know some vegans are gonna freak out that I am even mentioning this in this video, but yeah, there's a lot of people that I coach around the world that do not wanna to switch to the vegan diet. And I do care about the animals, the environment, but yeah, I just have to be real and realize not everyone's gonna to switch to it. So yeah, I cater to all the different people that I help around the world. And I always try and get the people that I'm working with in most cases to reduce their animal food intake, so to speak, and increase the amount of fiber rich plant-based foods in their diet. So yeah, what I say is most people out there are consuming animal foods that are just full of hormones and antibiotics and yeah, all these other toxic substances that are added into them. So yeah, if you're consuming them, yeah, just avoid them completely. Like they're not good for you whatsoever. And yeah, what I say is to get the types of animal foods and animal byproduct foods that I've mentioned um, under the criteria, it's not always easy to source them. A lot of people can't source these types of things without them in there that I've mentioned. And what I say is if you're getting grass fed meat or pasture raised meat, antibiotic free and hormone free and you're getting raw milk, not everyone has access to it. It's not the easiest to get a hold of it. And it normally costs quite a lot of money. So it can actually cost you way more to actually eat more of a meat-based 
diet with animal foods in there in comparison to a vegan diet that is more based on whole foods in their plant-based form as well, which nature has meant for you to consume them in. Because yeah, a lot of people think that a vegan diet is gonna cost a lot more, and yes it can do if you're buying loads of packaged processed foods, because they tend to cost a lot more. But if you're eating mostly whole foods like fruits and nuts and seeds and vegetables and grains and beans and legumes and all of these plant-based whole foods, then it really can be really, really cheap to eat this way. So yeah, just experiment. See what works best for you. And if your diet's not making you feel good at the moment, try something out because I see so many people, more so people that switch to a raw vegan diet, someone who used to eat sub diet, where it's not working for them, they're not feeling good for them, but they continue to keep doing it. And it's like, say it's not working for you, give something else a try. Don't waste your time and just have a negative effect on your health where it just starts to deteriorate over time. And I'm someone that always keeps my mind open. I'm always open to experiment. And this is why I've learned and found so many different amazing things for healing people mentally and physically and giving people the best weight loss results and helping them achieve the body that they want, the energy levels, the fitness levels as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I've mentioned in it, put them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, and please share this video with anyone that you think would like to learn about what I shared with you today in this video in relation to a one meal a day and what is the most ideal diet to eat on your one meal a day diet journey. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis, and the type of videos you can expect to get from me are one meal a day and intermittent fasting informational videos, calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat in a day and also vegan mukbang videos, what I do in the day videos, and all different types of videos to inspire you and motivate you to become a better version of yourself, but also to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels, and also giving the information that you need to actually achieve those results and sustain them long term, like I've managed to and many people that I've helped and coached around the world. So yeah, if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.